So today I'm going to be showing you guys what you're going to be doing for project two and in this we're going to be using the skills that you guys have learned in the last couple videos uh, such as masking and um, transforming layers. That's kind of cool. This is the Google thing for today. Zipper. Uh, yeah, but so I haven't shown you guys how to download images just off of Google yet, so I figured I would show you that because in this project you guys are going to be combining different images, which is basically what Photoshop is. So let's say you wanted a picture of Abe Lincoln. Now you go to images, of course, you find the one you want. Let's just say you like this one. Click full size image, then you right click and do save image as. And I will save it as all files. So then once it's on your desktop, close this for a second. Then you can just open this with Photoshop and once you have it in Photoshop you can do command J to make a new layer and then you can drag it into the project you want but you have to create that new layer because the other one is locked and then you can just drag it and drop it here and rename your layer to Abe whatever you want and that's how you get your images actually on your project. So I'm going to be showing you guys something like this that I did last year. And go ahead and close these. Uh, this is a, a um, I don't know what to call it, a portrait, a abstract portrait of Abe Lincoln. And in this, uh, it, you can see on the right here there's all of the things we've talked about there's selection images masking and transforming and a lot of things that we've talked about so I'll be showing you guys pretty much what I've done here and how I did it uh, I've, I haven't used any other skills really besides the things I've already showed you so it should give you guys a pretty good start on what to do for the project so if I go ahead and disable some of these layers, I'll keep that one on. You can see it's just a bunch of different images that I have combined together. So for this, I just got a picture of a top hat, selected it, cut it out, and put it on a black background. Now as you can see, uh, I didn't do a very good job because this is something I made before I actually was good at what I was doing but uh, it gets the point across so uh, let's see in the background next I put a gun actually you can't see that unless I enable the blood splatter so what I did for this blood splatter was I actually used a brush with I downloaded a brush I I will show you guys how to download brushes uh, next video because that is also an important skill and it lets you get a lot more creative with other people's uh, stuff that they've created so um, then I put a gun here and that is also not selected very well but it all blends together in the end and then I put this elephant in the back because it looks like it's sort of jumping out of the blood and then let's see then I put this texture uh, let's see of John Wilkes Booth so if I release this um, yeah release clipping mask you can see that this is just a picture of John Wilkes Booth that I've textured um, and then I added this over here and I did not want to cut out a new gun and put it inside so what I did was I 
right click and do create clipping mask and then it will it will kind of group it into the actual gun layer so then I did the same thing for the hat because I thought the hat felt a little out of place there so I created another clipping mask for this which is the civil war going on in the background and I set uh, the opacity uh, actually no I didn't I guess um, thought I did but oh well um, yeah so it's just a normal picture of the Civil War that I rotated a little bit and then I created a clipping mask into the hat and if you needed to know how to do masking that's uh, lesson 13 so then uh, I added some extra stuff in the background with low opacity see the layer is at opacity 12 so you can barely see it just add some extra stuff that you don't see until later and a slave getting freed and then to top it off I just added some text uh, which is the Emancipation Proclamation so overall it looks pr like a pretty unified design and this is basically what you guys are going to be doing for your project you don't have to do anything political or like school um, education you can just do whatever you want you can do a band or anything as long as it looks good and it's a unified design and you use some of these skills and honestly just try to make something that looks really cool and that you're proud of um, that's basically what you need to do to practice and I usually have a good time playing around with some stuff so kind of gone on a long time on this but I think this shows you a pretty good example of what you should be doing for the project too so just think of an idea and then just go with it and try different things out and see what you like and what you don't like and then once you're done you can turn this project in as a JPEG if you don't know how to save as a JPEG it's lesson four but you turn it in as a JPEG, send it to Adobe Software Tutorials at gmail.com and just attach it as uh, an image, the JPEG. So then I'll post that on the Facebook page and put it in an album with all your guys' work and you can see what other people have done. Please try this because uh, this works a lot better if everyone tries these and submits something they did more of a community thing than other people can comment on it so yeah uh, I guess next lesson I'll show you guys how to download brushes and use them in your Photoshop uh, document and let you do a lot more stuff like this blood splattering effect so yeah uh, comment rate subscribe and I will keep making more videos